Houston Art Tribe. I am Kay Sarver, and I am sitting here with Joe's son, and I am delighted to be here. <laughs> We've already had a lot of fun even before you got here. Yeah, I think we already had our good discussion. <laughs> <laughs> but we are in Joan's charming home studio, uh, which is just magical in itself. I think that's why we got distracted. There's so much to look at and uh, take in. Uh, how long have you been here? Um, I got this house back in 1996, so I've been here for 22 years, which is really kind of hard to get my head around 22 years. It I sounds know. like a long time, but I know. it doesn't feel no. long. It just goes fast, doesn't it? Oh, it does. The older we get. It does. Right, um, that. <laughs> what, do you have any, I know obviously it's working for you to have an in-home studio. Do you have any, any you know, cons to um, that? You know, I know we, we talked about pros and cons yeah. about the home studio, but I have to say, genuinely, it it's all pros for me. Yeah, I understand. It's all, it's all pros. I've been able to discipline myself to, um, to yeah. weave in my personal life and yeah. going to the grocery store and the, you know, and yeah. the laundry. I've been yeah. able to weave it in, and it, it just works very elegantly for me yes. and more efficiently for me yes. to get my work done. And... You know, and, and get the personal stuff done, too. When, you know, when yeah. things are drying, I'm kind of at a gluing stage. Oh, yeah. And it's can... drying. Okay, I can put something in the in the I, washing machine. I understand. It's like so. you can keep revisiting what you've been working on, and and you don't have that traffic to go through to get to the Right. Doctor. It's a big time saver to have it's it all just, right here. For I'm, me, I'm, yeah, it makes sense, but it I does. get it. And uh -huh. just the cost, too. Oh, well, you know? right. Yeah. And then Uncle Sam gets to hear about all those costs, too. Ah. Uh. You know, I am I'm thrilled a, to be here. I I just love it. I think it's it's one of the few remaining buildings. You know, Montrose is just being taken over. It I seems. So. I feel responsible for this little plot of land yeah, right here that stays it's original, charm, and that it's right around the corner from Texas Art. Like, they're is. like my second family over there. Yeah, you know? this is how I always find your house. Just oh, Texas Art's a <laughs> turn. Right, right. Um, it works out really well for me. Do, when do you remember? Um, First, being an artist. What? Yeah. Oh, when I was like nine years old. Okay. It was okay. my first artistic experience and passion to trace around my paper dolls. Yes. I had two paper dolls, and I would trace around one and then uh, design a dress for her, and then trace around the other one and design a dress for her. Okay. So it was like my uh, my uh, goal to make a whole wardrobe okay. for each one of these dolls. And yes. it was, I mean, I remember clearly for four days at my parents' table in their bedroom designing these paper doll dresses it, it's amazing it, and it was it was a it was a very passionate thing and and wow. i remember very clearly when i ran out of my mother's good typing paper and had to use lined school paper you know uh, a story uh, and story. it was a very passionate thing and then yeah. and so that was when i was nine and then then in 2013, I got a grant to remake those paper doll dresses, like six of them. My mother saved all of them. Yeah. And there were about 65 altogether. And I picked out six of them yeah. to remake into full-size paper dresses for that exhibition. Oh my gosh, what Time an travelers. impressive exhibition It was, was. Uh, you know, really a, a big breakthrough uh, for me to revisit my former life and bring you, it forward with new skills. That kind of blew the socks off of what mm -hmm. I think about with really I think of you as an artist that sculpts paper well but, you know I how? think that's I think that's a good truth about what I do mm -hmm. um, paper certainly has been my my medium mm -hmm. and it, it just does anything yeah uh, uh, it, except it does burn up you know I guess if I was working in ceramics it wouldn't burn but it doesn't oh, break see. yeah that's true <laughs> it's, it, I guess that that's a whole new set of issues to have to think about too but. plus it's lightweight yeah. So, uh, but it's an education process too, because people generally think of paper as a throwaway. Yeah. And this paper is uh, really, I use really fine papers, yeah, and I'm too, using yeah. a lot of acrylic on papers now. Mm. And so they're very durable. They'll be around yeah. for many, many years. Oh yeah. Yeah. They'll, they'll you, live way past me. I I have a few of my cherished things that you <laughs> made, and I'm you know. I, I have some of your eat. cherished oh, things dear. too. You know that I. <laughs> They're deeply important to me. People always ask about Yeah. It. Oh, fun. Yeah. Um, well, let's see. I um, guess really talk a little bit more about your work. Uh, okay. So yeah. I, the, the paperwork started my first 
uh, installation was in the windows of Tiffany's in mm -hmm. 1993. So mm -hmm. that was my big breakthrough thing. And then I began doing small pieces for museum shops. The Houston Museum of Natural Science was first when they opened their live cockerel butterfly uh -huh. exhibit and then they had that really nice gift shop next door to it yeah. which is now like the, the sale gift shop it's a totally different experience now wow. um, but I began doing things for them and then the Smithsonian found me oh my they, gosh they called so nice. me on the phone oh my God. <laughs> is Who that, doesn't want that to happen? Well, this was like 1994, oh 1995. It was, yeah. So I had a number of things. They were having an, a Japanese exhibition of kimono mm. at the Smithsonian and wanted things for their gift shop and somehow found me. I can't remember how. So that really started the whole gift shop pieces, the museum gift shop pieces, yeah. which, I, which I continue and which this summer they're actually out at the origami in the garden yeah. sculpture uh, garden out south of Santa Fe New Mexico uh, okay. so that's it's been a good venue for me so you know so that really started my work okay. and then I you know wanted to do larger pieces too so I've explored some larger things mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. uh, installations a lot of butterfly installations mm -hmm. robes and bamboo mm -hmm. paper all paper things mm -hmm. and then last summer I had a commission from uh, uh, our consultant person who wanted an installation his client up in East Texas at their retreat center wanted an installation of a covey of quail so it was really a, wow. a challenge for me to make it realistic for them mm -hmm. although I decided realism was easier than impressionism oh, so um, yeah. so I worked on canvas I worked with acrylic on canvas oh. and made the bird you know three-dimensional different oh my sizes gosh. Well, um, I have a, another question. I'm I'm curious about if you are if there's something on the horizon, something you're excited about. There's what? something I'm very excited about. Yeah. You know how sometimes a, a an idea will just sort of come through in a big way and yes. really clamor for attention. Yes. So about a year and a half ago, I had this idea about a new body of work I wanted to do, uh, where I paint paper usually. Uh, uh, cotton resume paper, so it's a real high quality oh. paper, paint with acrylic on both sides, mm -hmm. and then cut it up into squares and fold, oh, wow. and then unfold, because yeah. it's the crease lines underneath that are really interesting to me. The yes. beauty and the geometry of those crease lines is yeah. very attractive to me, so that's what oh, I'm bringing out now. So I've exciting. actually, I have a whole series planned, it's mm. called the uh, Jones Sun Undone. Oh, and, so I, and so I great. finished. I finished the first piece, mm -hmm. which is of course a thousand cranes. Oh, when you wow. start, you have to start with a thousand cranes. So I finished oh. that in March, and it's been accepted uh, into the Houston Center for Contemporary Craft. There, uh, Craft Texas 2018 yes. show. So yes. I'm thrilled that it was accepted. I had no idea how it would be. How I'm it so would be viewed. Excited. So that starts okay. September 29 and goes through January the 6th. Oh. And then that's my project this summer is working on um, uh, completing that series. There'll yes. be eight or nine. That'll be the only one that's a thousand. Yeah. There might be like uh, 200 dragonfly. Or, uh, these, these you know, 150 take butterflies. Or, amazing amount of your time. They do take uh, time, and and the big, a lot of the time, um, is in deciding and figuring out how to do it. Yes. You know how how to paint it. Painting is not really my my uh, first uh, uh -huh. my first talent. So I'm yeah. learning how to do that, and that and that it doesn't have to be great painting mm -hmm. because I'm going to cut it up and fold it and make mm -hmm. crease lines out mm -hmm. of it. So that's very forgiving. Oh my! The, the the folding is forgiving towards the painting. So and I have a number of them to finish, and so I'll I'll, I'll show this body of work in some way yeah, next year. Well, but the first excited. one, the first one is actually going to be shown. So I'm really excited about in September. About it. In September to Very January. Very exciting. Right. It's nice that you stretch yourself like that uh, with a medium that, like painting, you know. But I've seen other things you've painted, and I I think it's you know you've got that background for sure well it makes the paper more uniquely mine I you know, there's a lot so of great agree. papers out there yes. great papers and yes. i use them in yes. much of my uh museum shop pieces yes oh, they're marvelous papers. yes but to actually paint them makes it a little more unique a little more personal a little yeah. more artistic oh i love that because you even did something like that with photography and you folded the photos. Oh, right. Yeah, well, for me, a so photograph. That was so impressive. That was fun. And because it is all coming from you, I, I, I find it uh, 
much more satisfying to see see that from an artist you know that they're I mean it's okay I like found object art I love I right. love a lot of the collages I see yes and stuff. yes but I love too that you make the effort to make it all completely something oh. you came up with and so well, thank I'm, you thanks for saying that, that. you know oh, yeah. I, you know for me a photograph was just another piece of paper for me to fold oh absolutely and that it, would be, it know, was the brilliant. photos that I took it, it was, was fun photo fest I think wasn't it well, it was year? it yeah. was at photo fest it was and Lovely. I've continued to some of that mm -hmm. uh, so that's that's been great fun now it'll yeah. it'll and it'll weave its way in to the rest of my life here. yeah I feel like I'm I'm really starting a new um, um, chapter in my life oh, with yeah. this yeah. new body of work that's very different and uh, and focusing on the larger pieces and really mm -hmm. taking this summer to uh, really explore that and taking yeah. the time to develop it how but exciting. then and the other thing coming up is in October because I also that's teach that's... origami, which is really fun oh, yeah, for me. Yeah. It's a really intimate experience. Yeah. So in October, I'll be teaching an origami workshop at the Young Center. Yeah. Yes, I. You've done uh, that too. I have. I've been teaching at the Young Center since 2000. Oh, God. it's a wonderful association. I really yes. appreciate them and and yes. a lot of the wisdom they have going How on wonderful over there. and it's that interaction with other people yeah it's like magic for people your, yeah. they get to be 12 years old again oh gosh you know, it's, it's just, important it I, is I, I should have taken one of those classes well you still can <laughs> uh so okay uh, you know this is just so wonderful i i'm wondering what um oh you have some other things coming up too you you have you usually do a holiday thing oh right or, yes well yeah. uh so this will be the 20th year Mm -hmm. that I've done this in my studio. So I mm -hmm. open up the whole house mm -hmm. and bring in four or five other artists, ceramics yeah. and other jewelry and yeah. glass, and we have a holiday show here. So yeah. this December, the second weekend, it might be the third weekend yeah. this year, I still have to do the math on that, um, we'll open for three days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, yeah. for a holiday show. For This will be the 20th year that we've done this. And this is so a lot worth, of people it's so come, worth people coming people like, to us having things yeah. that are made by artists, artists. Oh, they carry absolutely. a nice energy to them so yeah. we make that possible for them yeah. to come shop yeah great gift items honestly well for good. people that like that kind of thing this is yeah. a great place to find it is i mean there's a lot of places in houston that time of year yeah but, but uh, supporting local artists it's a good is, thing uh, it's well worth it and affordable too so, i think so you know. Yeah. So uh, I'll be doing I'll be doing that for sure in December, and then yeah. I basically wear all the hats here. <laughs> no kidding, <laughs> at my you studio. amaze me. I uh, think well, you know the advertising and the photography oh, and the gosh, laundry yeah. and the bottle washing, <laughs> <laughs> just everything. 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 Right. Just shuffling it all, and but it works. It gets job. woven together, and I it's really my life, and it's my mm -hmm. commitment. It's my calling and my ministry yeah <laughs> so and i'm uh, i'm just gonna keep doing it isn't that amazing i mean you can be so driven because you enjoy it you really right. and there's a lot of there's a lot of work involved clearly right. but well it's not that i don't struggle with my own doubts and oh, demons goodness. you know that want to uh, tell me it's crummy work i think sometime we're going to do a round table <laughs> on the demons we're just going to talk about that okay yes. that's a great idea yeah, so i can demons. confess that i've got those as well, uh, well we but i think those. maybe they feed the process i think yeah. they have something to say that helps me move along yeah. so i can get past them yeah, they're all, there so I can all get past opportunities them. to 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 grow for yeah. evolve yeah. in some way. Right. So. They're coming up for a reason. They need yeah. to be attended to and befriended and totally. moved along their way. Totally, and they might actually inspire something. <laughs> or so. we just kick them out. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we have to do that. Oh my gosh, this has been such a pleasure. Thank you I'm, for inviting me to do this. I'm for, thrilled. Thank for you. Doing this, and um, you're a very generous person. I just love doing it. See, this is one of my passions. It, it's actually another creative outlet for me. So I, I mean, it's just part of the process, you know. But I, and I want to say to the viewers, you know, uh, thanks for sharing this with us. Um, seeing thanks what for who Jones' son is, and and like, share, and subscribe if you would, uh, so we can continue this and and reach more viewers in the Houston area or even beyond. Uh, so thanks so much. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>